I want to know what happens if you detonate. The loader bot at the beginning. Mm -hmm. He's like, where'd you smother? I have found you. Probably, he probably just doesn't show up here. Right? Well, I mean, but, like, but I've, does I'm, anything happen? Reese, are you dead? If you're dead, say something. <sighs> I meant to do it. I'm glad. Uh, I'm, I'm an fine. acrobat. I I'm wanted fine. to show off. I'm trying to impress totally Sasha. To <laughs> Good. So I blew a hole it in the ground. It doesn't look like there's a safe way down to help you. So take your way out of there. God dang it, What's Sasha. <laughs> Playing hard to get. A lot of computers. Hard to get you out of that hole. A lot of lights, lockers, servers, uh, bars. Is it Atlas weapon parts? Ooh, look, look at it, look at it. Uh, there's a bunch of old Atlas prototype stuff. Atlas tech. still has stuff down here. There's like a few weapons. Well, I mean, they they were where they they ran off. Because you don't know, Atlas weapons were like some of the yeah. was like the most powerful manufacturer in the first game. I just going to point out that Chuck is not sure will jump down for weapons, <laughs> but not for me. Is no this way. what they would have looked like in the second one? <laughs> the if Atlas they Silver. weren't killed in, off in the first one game. One of the rarest SMGs on Pandora. That would be sick. These models were never even released. Vintage, I guess. Hmm. Whoa, hey! A retro Atlasio! I thought these things were just a rumor! Look, so look, we look, found look. It's a tough time and it's a calculator. Just give me a math problem. Give me Is a math problem. Is it worth a lot of money? <laughs> he found a smartphone. <laughs> sort of. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not ten million dollars worth, but oh, man, to the right people. Atlas tech in mint condition like this is worth a hell of a lot. A to watch collect. that's also a calculator. Exactly How long have they been out of circulation that this is amazing to win? And right. prototypes at that. I mean, who knows what this is worth? Okay, uh, he's like, I found a Nokia. Probably about $20. Quickly. Don't tell anyone those bandits will be back. We better do the same, Reese. Hold on, Fiona. Don't we want to look for things that either of us could use? Like you're doing? Ooh, what is this Would you button? like to do the honors? It's the last one. It's only right for us both to reveal it. Yeah, and then I sneak in and take it for myself. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like glitch. That. Depends on who I am. All right. Big money. Oh, okay. right. Big money, big money, big money. Big winner! Winner, winner, chicken winner! Come on, Jack, what? Jack, what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Double seven, triple sevens. Uh, triple, triple moxie leg. Oh, vault symbol. Three bandit faces. No. <laughs> Oh, two pieces of uh, what looks like it should be a shield, but it could be... Yeah, a shield. Looks like a shield. Two pieces Reset. of a shield. Identification required. With music like that, it ain't no shield. So, <laughs> is it just me, or does that look... Incredibly valuable? Yeah. And there's two of them, so I don't have to stab you. Well, it looks like there's supposed to be one of them, and they fit together, clearly. I call the bigger half. Okay. For a second there, I thought if something was going to happen, if anything's going to happen, I'd rather it happen to Reese. <laughs> Opinions made. What? what is it? Fiona's clearly my favorite. Well, yeah. No Even idea. with the bowler hat? Eh. It's whatever. I don't like it, but it can we stay. We got what we came for. Let's go. Oh, told you. Don't know why it was stored in two parts if it's just going to fly together like this. Yeah, if it was stored hey, in two parts like that. See, there's a crowbar exactly. bar lying around. We're going to have to try to pry these. GP. Mm. Hold on. I'm not surprised Atlas would have something like this since they tried to open the first vault. That must be where the first vault was located. Is that a map? So no. She's the right Is that a map? I, I, I don't know. It's so confusing. Oh, now I feel bad. This Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Gordis Project, and it's going to lead us to a vault. Oh, boy. And then I'll probably kill you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was that's definitely the end. So that was the voice. You lost a vault key. Which was never real. Right. 
then you lost the money. Well, technically, we found it. <laughs> so, then it blew is up. this all happening sure. at the end? But at the end of all that, I don't know. you discovered the Gordis Project, which is all about opening a vault. Right. That's very convenient. Uh, For not you. really. Right? I mean, one way or another, everything on Pandora is leading you to a vault. I'd actually... <laughs> Agree with her. Yeah, there's yeah. vaults all over Pandora. They I'm wanted sure. people to find it, and it, that it takes this so, long what is really a testament to how bad we are. Yeah. Well. Oh, next time on Tales from the Borderlands. Side like carrying ship. Reese walks up the stairs. Odos fight. We meet BP8, whatever the thing's name is from Star Wars. Uh, Athena, uh, his guns terminated. Uh, August is back, and then we get, ooh, we get a meeting with Janie Springs. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> I want to rewatch that. Space bar, space bar. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm trying to remember what I did when I played this. Okay. Uh, S sorry, you, folks. We're just going to look at this for a little bit. You and 43% of players kept your cool. I grabbed his hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, I let Shade accompany me. Yeah. You know what happens if you don't? No. Do you want to know what happens if you don't? I'd love to know what happens if I don't. Spoiler alert. Everybody, close your ears if you don't want spoiler. We're going to put a spoiler warning right before this, and it, here it is. Pop, there's the spoiler warning. Okay. Ranger may continue. He dies. And you watch it happen. He stumbles into that fight that emerges with Bossa Nova and Zero, and he's like, what's going on? And he dies. No. Yes. Okay, the spoiler's coming off now. Just so everyone knows that now that the spoiler's gone, I am very upset at hearing what happens when... <laughs> I made him cry. <laughs> no, I'm not cry I'm not crying. <laughs> I made him cry. Showing you the power of friendship. Alright, now we get to move on to this one. Uh, I tried to tell him there was a bomb, and he opened it anyway. Mm -hmm. No, wait, no, I don't think he did. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. I think he ran. Should we put spoilers on that too? Yeah, we should probably put spoilers on this whole Okay, section. you know what? We're just going to put spoilers on all this section. If you don't want it, we're gonna, I'm going to put on an annotation to show you when to skip ahead, but at that point the video is probably over. So, now we continue. Oh wait, hold on. Boop! There we go. Um, I can't, I, I tried to tell him. Like, I tried to warn him. Mm -hmm. Oh, what did he do? I think he ran off. I don't think he died. I can't remember, though. I'm gonna have to go back. Well, I was gonna replay it anyway, because Captain Jack ruined it. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I'll repeat. Because I know. I can't remember what happened. I do know what I told him. It was also like 3 in the morning when I did that part. I didn't purchase the Steve mask because I didn't have enough money. You didn't have any money? Did yeah. you spend it on the getting in? No. So when I went to the Munchkins, mm -hmm. there's a dying man. And that they're trying to get his wallet. And as he was dying, he was like, my money! And I gave the money back to him instead of pocketing it for myself. I see. Yeah. Because uh, I was trying to be nice. I thought I would just pick it back off of his body when he was dead, and that wasn't an option. Mm. I was like, I'm gonna let you hold it, and then he died, and I get it back, and no, he just died with it. There was, there's something like that that happened in um, Wolf Among Us. Yeah. Where it's like you find someone's coat and you find funds that have been embezzled from the fairy tale government. Oh, good. And I was like, I'm gonna take this so that I can return it or maybe use it somewhere else. And then, like, I did that. And, like, the character is like, well, you won't be needing this anymore. And so he pocketed it. And then later on in that same chapter, there's a character who's like, ah, I wish I could afford a glamour, and I, that way me and my family don't have to move. And I'm like, Bigby, give him the money. Oh. Bigby, give him the money. And I didn't get ever get the option. Oh my gosh. I hate, like, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking sometimes. All right, we already talked about Steve Mess. Uh, yeah. We're moving on to Reese. Um, yeah, I evacuated Loaderbot. Yes. So did Captain Jack. Uh, I trusted Sasha. I just wanted to be an ass. I know. But now I mean, you get to see what happens when you don't trust her. Yes, so I am happy for that. What does she do when you trust her? Um, she kind of like plays around with the baton a little bit. She gives it back to you. She doesn't betray you and stab you with it. Although, what a strong, bold choice that would have been. <laughs> um, I remember being like, no, I have to progress through this game. And if Sasha like, attempts to kill me with this, it was either because she was going to anyway, or this <laughs> game makes a big divergence point. Yep. Uh, I chose Vaughn. How could you not? Well, yeah. 
10% of people are jerks. I guess I was a dissenting opinion, though. I did it not for Bond, but for the satisfaction of killing uh, Vasquez. Vasquez. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, I remember being like, should the, it was like, I either choose Vaughn, or I like pretend to side with Vasquez, and then like go kill him later, but I remember being like, oh no, screw it, like I'm already... Vasquez is gonna kill me the minute I get back anyway. <laughs> like, I'm dead, so whatever. Vasquez is not to be trusted. Yeah, clearly not. He's voiced by Patrick Warburton. He's either, like, an, a dummy or a, or a jerk. Yeah. Okay, moving and, uh, on to this one. I did the riot shield and grenades. So, instead of riot shield rockets. How did the uh, mixture come at the end come, turn out? I had trouble remembering that one because I, I didn't think it would be important. I get the feeling that it would be like you take the grenades and you throw it into the bulldozer thing and then he spins around and throws them everywhere. I'll have to look it back up. Mm. I remember that the <coughs> grenades like individually landed on people when they threw the rocket launch, or, like when there were guys on the roof and you had to pick the three targets. And I think it was electric grenades. Mm -hmm. But again, I might be wrong here because it's been a while. Um... Because uh, Captain Jack did riot shield and rockets like you did. Right. So I remember that now more than I remember my grenade choice. I was more along the lines of like, I picked the riot shield specifically because uh, given the situation, it felt more appropriate to just run into everybody. Yeah, I picked the riot shield because I was like, I want some defense and offense, but <laughs> like, I've also been on receiving end i've been on the receiving that that's that's <laughs> that's what that's what uh, influenced my decision most yeah. like being on the receiving end of like the bulldozer with no place to hide behind is yeah. just that that thing tears it's, through you it's bad <laughs> i was like oh great like it'll give me some defense and it'll also give me some offense um but it seems like riot shield's the weaker choice because i remember mine being really low there too it was like 16 percent choice riot shield well that's grenades. because you have uh Two options on either end, and it's a permutation. Right, but it's not 25, so it's 25, like, 25, 25, 25. Oh, I see. Right? Like, I, it feels like choosing the riot shield is... What, like, whatever other combination you do, the riot shield out of your first two choices is the weaker one. Or the less chosen one. Okay, so people probably go for machine gun? Yeah. Which, I'd be curious. Like, I kind of want to go watch all of those options. But mm. Just to see how that fight sequence goes. So I think that's that's about it for this episode. Yeah, sounds right to me. All right, then uh, Ranger and I are going to be back for uh, episode two of Tales from the Borderlands very soon, which is coming out uh, very, very soon. It's going to be out by the time this airs. Yeah, which is why we skedaddled on recording this one. <laughs> uh, hopefully so we didn't wake up the neighbors. Hopefully, because it is, what time is it right it now, Ranger? Is... 11 o'clock and one time we were watching Master Chef Junior at 1030 and they decided to get up the they sent us a noise complaint and then later me and my friend who I will currently name Druid uh, we were watching an episode of South Park the one about cock magic <laughs> and I think they called us an, uh, I called a noise complaint on us because of the use of the song uh, it's a Barbie world oh, it's a there's a part where he's like doing a magic show, <laughs> or he's doing a cock magic show, and they're playing. In a Barbie world, no, it's like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> Can we just put a title card on this called Which Witch Sings? Uh, the, no, there will be. They, I don't want to ma make that. The, Can we put a title card on any time either of us is singing? You sang through in every episode of this, yeah. or tried to. <laughs> I did. At the most inappropriate times, and I didn't want to call you out, but I will now because it's the end of the episode, the season. Let's call it a season. That's it's not I, a season. What I do, I, s I sing it appropriately <laughs> for fun. Staring the story, though. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to add an element that wasn't previously there. Yeah, okay. It was Canadian crossing through that scene. Yep. In case anybody can't tell, we're uh, improvisers. Ranger and I were both improvisers. <laughs> and block. I blocked you once during that episode. I felt really bad. Whatever. I it's block okay. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Blocking is what I do. His, his Emma would like this to block me. He'll be like, I'm gonna have toast for breakfast. No, you're not. Why? 
<laughs> We're turning this into a podcast. We should yeah. probably end the episode. Okay, everybody. We'll see you in um, the next episode. Episode 2. What is it called? Let's move over to this menu and see what it is. See more of your choices online? No, thank you. I'm good with, I'm good with this. I tried to do that oh. on mobile and it just like wasn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you get for skipping the credits. Give us a sec. We'll see what the next episode is called and then we'll be right out, right out. Atlas, Atlas mugged. mugged. That should be know, fun. Nick Beards Rejoice. No, yep. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you uh, later. Have a good night. Or morning or whatever you watch this. No day or night cycle because you're in space. Hello, ISS. And goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>